you again hear him in the uh, 15th chapter of the book of Genesis we just read. Remember what Abraham um, saying was to God. He said he didn't have a son. He didn't have an heir. And the only heir he had was one from Damascus. But Yah had come and made him a covenant. So when he told him that he saw his day, he was glad. He was talking about when he had made the feast for Isaac. Listen. Then said the Jews unto him, Yes. Thou art not yet fifty years old. Mm -hmm. And hast thou seen Abraham? And have you seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, That's what he said. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Yeah. Before Abraham was, yeah. I am. He said the shortest part of his name. He didn't say that I am that I am. He said that I am. Right. So he said the shortest part of his name. Psalm 68 and 4. That's right. Amen. The 68 division of Psalm at verse 4. Listen to the book. Sing unto God. Sing unto God. God. Sing praises to his name. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens. That extol mean praise him. Praise him that rideth on the heavens. By his name, Yah. He said the shorter part of his name. That's right. That's why we stick with the shorted part and not the long version that people try. Everybody you ask, I have a different pronunciation for his name. Y'all walk law and y'all lock, lock, lock. Something else everybody put. Y'all walk, everybody put. We don't know the last pronunciation of the part That's of his right. name. But we know the y'all part. That's right. That's how we know when we praise him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amazingly, it's in the praise of it. That's right. When the angels won, they said, of course, when the Greek translate, they put hallelujah. Because of their discipline when they write, they use hallelujah, but we know it's hallelujah for us. Isn't that right? That's right. And that y'all praise ye y'all. It will go along with what he told us right here, David, in the 6th day division of Psalm at verse 4. Praise him by his name, y'all. So when Yeshua would have seen him, he said before Abraham was, he didn't say I am that I am, did he? No. He said I am. What happened because of that? <clears throat> Then took they up stones to cast at him. Why would they have done that? Him just saying, if it didn't mean that, he just said, I am. Mm -hmm. Why did they get ready to stone him? All he just said, I am. What did that mean to them? Because the third chapter of the book of Genesis just clearly told them when Moses went to the children of Israel, he gave them his sacred name. Now listen to what he said over here in the sixth chapter of the book of Exodus at verse one. So I get six and three of what I want. We'll continue forward, but I just want to make sure y'all get a little understanding. I just go at the Lord tell me to go. So y'all got to record as you go back and look. Blanks will be filled in here and there. Listen to the book. Then the Lord said unto Moses. Listen to it. Then the Lord said unto Moses. Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. Listen to it. Now you're going to see what I'm going to do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go. Yeah. And with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. You see that? With a strong hand, he's going to drive us out. He's going to force us out. We ain't got to worry about leaving. Isn't that right? Lord put it on his heart. He was so disgusted with us. He forced us out of the land. Listen. And God spake unto Moses. And God spake unto Moses. And said unto him. This is what he said to Moses now. I am the Lord. This is what he told him. I'm Jehovah Jireh. I am the Lord. He gave him his name. That's right. When he spake unto Moses, he told him who he was. I am. Listen. And I appeared unto Abraham. He appeared unto Abraham. Unto Isaac. Unto Isaac. And unto Jacob. And unto Jacob. By the name of God Almighty. Y'all hear this? Now, when he just told him that he was the Lord Almighty, he appeared by the name of what? El Shaddai. He said, I appeared unto them by the name of God Almighty. Listen to what he just told him, though. But by my name, Jehovah. Now, look what they put in him. But by my name, Jehovah. Was I not known to them? So how would, more, how would Abraham have, have, have went and made a sacrifice and called the name Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh? Couldn't do it. He couldn't have done it because he just said right here that he didn't know it. That's right. This name that they put in him, Jehovah, they put in him to replace the sacred name. That's right. Because if you remember the third chapter we just read in Genesis, in the third chapter of the book of Exodus, when Moses got ready to go back, he said they're going to want to know what is thy name. If Jehovah was his name, he wouldn't have went back and told them nothing that they didn't already know. That's right. If that was his name, they wouldn't have had no reason to ask what is his name. That's right. All they had was characteristics. They need to know a name. Mm -hmm. El Shaddai was not a name. That's right. Elohim was not a name. That's right. They needed to know a name. El only means God. That's right. That's not a name. So we know when they use the Jehovah, and I taught the church this, for whatever reason he had me to come talk to y'all about today. Yeah. 
a lot of the Bible is right. See, what happens with a lot of these people when they read, they'll take things like this. They say, see, that's why the Bible is wrong. I don't use the Bible. The Bible is right. You got to remember when the translator wrote, a lot of things that they tried to do was try to change things, but it still come back out to be true. That's I right. hadn't read no other books to read this. If you just read and you get understanding, you can see there was no way Abraham could have called him Jehovah, ne Jehovah Jireh. That's right. When he just told him, according to what they got right, he didn't even know the name. Mm -hmm. So why would Abraham would have ever called it Jehovah Jireh? That's right. But when you try to replace the sacred name mm -hmm. and you try to use another, it is believed that the name Jehovah is a compound mixture of using the name Hashim, the name of Anonai. This is a name that's believed. Now, this is not biblical. This is through historian teaching. They teach that our people did not believe in using the sacred name, self in, in silent prayer, utter, only in secret. You didn't utter out the sacred name because that name is so holy. So it was believed that they lost the translation to the last part of the name. That's why you just find when he said, praise him by his name, y'all. Nobody really know. You can sit down and listen to all these different groups can come up and give you a full name. All I'm telling lies, none of them have it. That's right. Because we can't even find where they used it. That's right. After we got it from Moses, you can't find where he used it. When he went back to Moses, he just said, I am. He used the shorter part of his name again. Yeah. When David came along, what I own, who was a prophet, he said, praise him by his name, y'all. That's right. So the last part, all these people come, that's why I pay absolutely no attention to any these people because if it forced us to know, he going to give it to us. He made sure we knew the y'all. That's right. Amen. He made sure we knew to say hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. That's right. Even in our song, we lost our language when they brought us over through slavery, but we learned how to sing a song. What was the song, Brother Chris? Kumbaya. What does kumbaya mean? Kumbaya. Come by here who? Y'all. Y'all remember that song years ago, kumbaya? Yes. We, spoke, we speak no Hebrew. We speak, no, we speak no Aramaic. How did we learn how to just sing Kumbaya? That's right. We were saying, come by here who? Yeah. Nobody knows the last part name. That's why I don't know why people keep wasting their time with these people. What you need to know is in the book. Amen. Amen. 